Hey foodies, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of The Cooking Depot. As the pandemic raged last year and no vaccines existed at the time of filming, the host, chef testants, crew, and rotating panel of guest judges bubbled together in Portland, Oregon, like the NBA did in Orlando in 2020 to film the show's 18th season. Though at times, the season felt a bit claustrophobic without the chef testants being able to interact with the world around them. Some extremely talented chefs emerged from the pack. It concluded with what felt like a lovely ending, with the three finalists competing not to defeat one another, but to get the best cooking out of each other. That harmony was quickly marred by the fact that winner Gabe Arales had been fired from his job at Austin's Commodore for alleged harassment. Since then, the show has largely distanced itself from the champion, but he's still in the process of opening his own restaurant. So, as we tune in to see who will be crowned the 19th Top Chef winner, we're checking in on Arales and previous champions champions to see what they're up to now. Number 1. Harold D. Turley Season 1, San Francisco That first season was still ironing out the wrinkles a little bit. With no Padma Lakshmi to be seen yet, Katie Lee, Billy Joel's ex-wife, was the host. In the finale, which was held in Las Vegas, D. Turley defeated Tiffany Faison with a menu that included olive oil poached bass and pan-roasted quail. After winning, D. Turley ran three restaurants in New York's West Village, Perilla, Kin Shop, and the Morrow. Despite solid reviews for each of the trio, he eventually closed them all, shuttering Perilla in 2015. He returned to New York in 2017 as the consulting chef at the gluten-free Italian restaurant Tali, but it closed in June of 2018. Deterley now has a restaurant consulting business. Number 2. Ian Hall, Season 2, Los Angeles In a season that had some controversy with a hazing incident of one of the contestants and Bravo not actually providing a reunion show because viewers didn't like the chefs, Hall prevailed. After winning, Hall opened The Gorbals in LA, where he mashed up his Scottish and Jewish heritage with dishes like bacon-wrapped matzo balls. He expanded the concept to hipster enclave Williamsburg, Brooklyn, but he has since closed both locations. In 2015, Hall opened The Vegan Ramen Hood in LA's Grand Central Market. He also hosted a cooking competition show of his own, The Telestroni Filled Knife Fight, on the now-defunct Esquire. New York. Number 3. Hung Wong Season 3, Miami Kong, who cooked at Per Se and Guy Savoy before competing on the show, beat fan favorites Casey Thompson and Dale Levitsky in the three-way final. After leaving the show, Huang worked for the restaurant and nightlife company EMM Group for four years, helping it grow the seafood restaurant catch around the world, from New York to LA to Dubai to Mexico City. Upon departing EMM, Huang worked private events, and in 2016, he took a job as the culinary consultant consultant for Hilton and Resorts World. Bimini in the Bahamas. In late 2019, he opened the Asian fusion restaurant Warrior on LA's Sunset Strip. Number 4. Stephanie Izzard Season 4, Chicago Izzard won the season held in her own backyard of the Windy City, defeating Richard Blaze in the finale. Since then, she's gone on to build an empire in Chicago's thriving West Loop restaurant scene. In 2010, she opened the perpetually packed Girl and the Goat, where she serves delicious, creative, and globally inspired dishes, such as wood oven roasted pig face, grilled butter chicken, and duck tartare. Soon after, she opened the Little Goat Diner and her Chinese restaurant Duck Duck Goat in 2019 at Chicago's New Hoxton Hotel. She opened her Peruvian-influenced Carba, and in 2020, she opened Sugar Goat Bakery and expanded her offering with meal kits delivered nationwide through Gold Belly. Last year, she opened her pandemic-delayed Girl and the Goat in downtown Los Angeles and has also brought her Peruvian restaurant Carba to the city as well. Number 5. Hosea Rosenberg, Season 5, New York. Season 5 was filled with chefs who would become fan favorites for years to come, including Fabio Viviani and Carla Hall. However, Rosenberg beat them all. The New Mexico-born chef returned to Colorado and has opened Black Belly in Boulder, later expanding it to a butcher shop as well. In November 2017, Rosenberg opened Santo in Boulder, a restaurant devoted to the food of his home state, serving dishes such as Navajo fry bread and green chili 
daily pork and potato stew. In April of 2020, Rosenberg shared on Instagram that his daughter Sophie was suffering from a rare skeletal disorder called multicentric carpotorsal osteolysis, MCTO. He and his wife started a foundation to raise funds and awareness around MCTO. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.